Yep, I've been using this wet palette for going on about five years now. And you can definitely see I've been using it. And the sponge is slick and covered in paint on both sides. And overall, I just need to get a new one. So this one was made out of a Ziploc sandwich box. I liked having a lid and it worked. It had a nice flat bottom, but it is a fairly deep well for the paintbrush. So when I'm going in for paint, I can't really get at the base without going in at an angle. So it makes pulling the paint to the side a little bit harder. So the last time I went to the Dollar Tree, I picked up another box of parchment paper and while I was there I found a new container. I didn't find any of the sponges that I was using but I still had some left over from the last time. I like these, these Swedish dish cloths and these are usually a little less than a dollar a piece, depending on how many you purchase. And you can cut them to size. It's a spongy material. And a little bit flexible. And can easily fit inside of the new container. A little bit more than double. And that's really all you need for a wet palette. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it upside down because this side is fairly flat and it's nowhere near as tall as my previous wet palette. I have a much easier time getting in to grab paint. The next step is to put down a sponge. Again, nice and simple. Cut it to size and go with it. And then for the parchment paper, you cut these to size as well. This is a little bit wider, but it was originally made for my previous wet palette. But it should be fine. And then that's pretty much a wet palette, except that it's dry. So before you use it, you want to hydrate the sponge fully. You may have to end up trimming the sponge after it's absorbed some water. Which is fine with a nice sharp knife. Again, this is just a cellulose sponge, so just trim it to size. And then the piece of parchment paper goes on. It'll 
peel up a little bit, but after a minute or so it should lay down flat and be ready to use. This is going at real time. And there you go, a new wet palette from start to finish in about five minutes. I have a lid that I can put on it so when I'm not using it, it's not going to get all over the place. And this one roll of parchment paper will make This is a four by six area. So a box for $1.25 can make 120 sheets for this wet palette. Fairly affordable. The container was only $1.25. The sponges, less than a dollar depending on where you get them. So for less than $4, I just made a new wet palette. Now to break it in. So much better. Subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss any future videos. I also want to thank my patrons and supporters for making these videos possible. And until next time, I hope you find your bit of bliss.